Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So I get asked a lot about people finding images in Design Space. They struggle to find the images that they want. Design Space is absolutely chocker full of images and the variety of images available is amazing. So when you first open up the image search, this is what it will look like on a desktop. So that be Windows or Mac. The app is different and we'll look at that in another video. But for desktop, this is what it looks like when it's open. First thing we can do is at the top here, it says category. If we select all images, it will take us into the category filter. And you can see here that we've got a lot of different filters and that can help us narrow down our search parameters. We're going to browse all images and we can really narrow down our search. So if I type in Halloween, it's going to be a very broad search. I'm going to find anything with the word Halloween in and a lot of images that are associated with Halloween. And that is a lot of results. Whereas if I narrow it down to say pumpkin, I get a much more filtered response. I can then filter that to access only images, which of course is Cricut Design Space's subscription program, and anything with an A is covered by your access subscription. I can filter it down by the project type, so images that are for cards or phrases. So for example, if I select phrases, I'm going to lose a lot of those individual images, and I'm going to get a lot of text images come up. I can also change it by the operation type. So I can filter by cut only. I can filter by draw only. And of course with draw, it's not just a case of drawing with pens. I can deboss, I can engrave, and I can foil as well. I can filter by print and cut images. And I can filter by cut and draw images. I can filter by the image complexity, so I can search for a simple pumpkin image, which is normally very basic images. Moderate, which may have a couple of different layers and may be a little bit more in depth of a cut or a draw. And of course, complex images, which may be several different elements in one, and it could be several layers as well. I can also filter by the layers, so I can choose single layer images or I can choose multi-layer images. And you'll see that every time I change these parameters, I'm getting different results at the top here. I can also filter by the ownership, so uploaded, purchased, free or downloaded. If we just come out of that search parameter, we can also filter by brand. So for example, Kat Madeira is one of my favorite design space designers. She does some really lovely designs. You Are Clawsome is one of my all-time favorites. And I also really love her llama as well. Jasmine Lucy is another favorite of mine. She does some beautiful, beautiful designs. And personally, her disco ball is one of my favorites. Viola v Alpenplot, again they've got some really lovely images and things like this ginkgo leaf look absolutely beautiful foiled. So you've got lots of options and of course you've got other designers there as well. You can also filter by material although a lot of the images can be used on many different materials so you're not so restricted in terms of the material use because a lot of images can be used on different materials and of course you can filter by the language as well. So you won't just find English designs in Design Space, there are lots and lots of different languages in here as well. Now, one of my favorite things about Design Space images is in categories. So if we select category all images, under highlighted categories, you'll find featured, recently added, free this week, and image sets. 
Now I love the image set, so I'm going to search for Halloween and you'll see we get lots of different image sets become available. And the great thing about these is that a lot of the images in Design Space are not on their own. They are part of a larger collection. And the image sets allow you to see that collection in its entirety. So for example, I really like this as a print and cut, but also in the image set, it's available as a draw, and as a cut. So quite often when you see an image, it might not just be that that image is as you see it. If you see it as a draw, if you select the image set, you may be able to find it as a cut and print and cut as well. I've already showed you one way to find image sets. The other way is if you go to browse all images and you search for your item. So in this case, it's Halloween and we scroll down until we find an image we like. You'll see if we select the image, it becomes available to our canvas, but there's also an information circle. If we select the information circle, you'll see the name of the image, the image number, and view image sets. So if I select on view image sets, it's going to take me to that image set that that image belongs to. And in there, I may find different versions of that image. So I may find that it's available as a draw, a cut and a print and cut, but I'm also going to find all the other images in that collection. Image sets for me is absolutely invaluable. And I really do feel that the more we use the image set and the more we use the information circle, the better we'll be able to navigate design space and find the images that we want. The wording that you use in your search parameters is going to make a big difference. Typing Halloween or typing pumpkin is going to get you completely different results. Equally, if I type in love, a lot of my results are going to include the word love. If I want to be more specific for that, then I'm looking, for example, for hearts, I'm going to get better results by searching under heart than I would under love. So you do need to try and be really specific with your search term. The other thing that a lot of people don't realize is that you can select multiple images to insert to your canvas. Equally, you don't need to stay on the same search terms. So I've selected my pumpkin images and now I'm going to search for ghost. It will keep those selections. So I can then select a few more. Equally, I can select my information circle and go to the image sets for an image that I might like. And my selection is still available and I can select more. Once I've chosen all the images that I want, I can then insert them to my canvas. So rather than inserting one at a time or only inserting certain search parameters, I can search many items and just stack them up to then be added to my canvas. There are thousands upon thousands of images in design space and you really need to think about the words that you're going to use but also use your filters as well and use the image sets to be able to narrow down the images that are available as always thank you so much for watching i hope this has been helpful if you've got any comments or questions please do leave them below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye lovelies